Okay, here's another charging video. Um, I did a video the other day. Um, I was at my in-laws house and we were charging at 120 on an extension cord. I kind of want to show you guys that you probably shouldn't be doing that. So if you look here, I'm actually in my garage at my house and uh, we're plugged in. We got 40 amps, about 238 volts, looking at 28 miles an hour of charge. You can kind of see it better here on the big screen. So I basically have a, a wiring video um, in my somewhere in my video library here, and uh, I, I wired up a NEMA 1450 plug uh, with 240 volts together with a 50 amp breaker. So this is what it looks like once you got it, you know, charged, you know, plugged in and charging. It shows you exactly what's going on, the voltage going through, and uh, you know how much time is remaining to get to your charge. Because I do have a charge limit set. It's recommended that you don't really, if you look here, it says, here's your daily charge in that area. Ours is way, you know, to the edge because I want as much battery as I can get. But they recommend that when you keep it between this daily area, that that's gonna actually maximize your battery life. You know what I'm saying? So when, obviously trip means when you're going on a long trip, Go ahead and charge it up all the way but uh on your daily you basically just do it and it says here so that's basically charging um on a standard wall charger 240 volts i'm gonna go ahead and get out of the car and show you guys the charger itself so it's basically the, uh, the charger that kind of that comes with the, the machine when you buy it with the, with the Tesla and uh, you can see here in my other video I had you know plugged it in or connected it and wired this in so it's just basically a standard connector it runs down to this little base it says Tesla on it if it was better lighting you'd be able to see <laughs> and then obviously it just runs in the cord I have it running underneath my car and plugged into the side So, basically looking at 240 volts, 40 amps. Oh, when you get a chart, when you get the battery run down about 100 miles or 80 miles or so, it takes about four hours to charge back up with this home charger. Whereas like your superchargers, obviously, you're looking at like a half an hour to get about 80%. Alrighty, until next time.